Okay, so I've got to address some comments that Commissioner Mingus Maps made on Sunday at his town hall in Northeast Portland. He had a town hall at Alberta Abbey, and somebody who happens to read Bike Portland asked him a question about the Broadway bike lane. As you probably know, if you read the site or have seen some previous videos on this topic, uh, the commissioner was involved in a plan that would have reversed the design of the Broadway bike lanes and made them a lot less safe for biking. We exposed the plan. The city had to walk it back. The director of, of PBOT had to apologize and all this stuff. So that's the context. And obviously, some people are still very uh, concerned about it and have a lot of questions for Commissioner Maps, as do I. I especially wanted to address his answer because he specifically specifically calls out my coverage on Bike Portland. So somebody asked him a question about it at the town hall, and here's how he responded. Um, yeah, I am deeply committed to uh, transparency. Um, I tell you, I am, there's probably no one more puzzled about the Broadway uh, bike debacle, and I will embrace that, that term. Um, frankly, I feel like the uh, press coverage that, I, that came out of that, especially out of Mike Portland, who have, I, I think have done great journalism and public advocacy around bike safety uh, issues. Uh, I don't, but what I saw printed there was not consistent with what I experienced as the commissioner in charge of public transportation, which is kind of a problem because I very much am the guy in charge. Um, yeah, he says it's a problem. It is a problem. It is a problem. Commissioner Maps wants to have this both ways. Again, he says he's the guy in charge, uh, and he says he's puzzled by what happened. So if he's the guy in charge, I wonder what he's puzzled about. Is he implying that somehow what I reported on Bike Portland is inaccurate or wrong? Uh, if he is, that's interesting because when I interviewed him uh, directly on the phone in a video call, I gave him the opportunity. I said, Commissioner Maps, if there's anything incorrect about what I've reported, go ahead and set the record straight now. He didn't do it at that time, wasn't able to or wasn't willing to. So now he's saying he's puzzled by what he saw on Bike Portland uh, and that it's a problem because he's in charge. So if he's in charge, he shouldn't be puzzled about anything because what was on Bike Portland was factually correct 100%. It was confirmed with staff who were sources at PBOT. Uh, PBOT staff, who, who I sourced the story from, uh, told me it was correct, and it's it's borne out. It, it led his director to apologize. So what was reported on Bike Portland was absolutely correct. Him saying he's puzzled by it and implying that somehow my stories were inaccurate or wrong is frankly pretty disturbing that he's going to try to do that publicly. So here's what he, he'll, here's what else he said. Uh, for those of you who haven't followed this, one of the conversations uh, that's been happening in Portland in recent months has been... Okay, he's talking about a conversation that's been happening. Let's be really clear. This was not a conversation that was happening in Portland at all. This conversation was happening between a few angry hotel managers and owners and some other influential business people downtown. It was happening between them and Commissioner Maps's office, and then Commissioner Maps's office communicated that to the director of PBOT. This was not an issue with bike riders, with pedestrians, with anyone. It was only an issue because these business interests spoke up and complained to City Hall. Um, Broadway in downtown Portland. This is a corridor where we have, where we have lots of hotels and we also have a bike lane. Um, I certainly have heard from businesses along there that there is, um, that the bike lanes are not working well enough and we need to do better in this space. So one of the things I did uh, when I took over the Bureau, which uh, I think happened at the beginning of this calendar year, is to take a look at this space to see if there are ways that we can fine tune uh, that neighborhood, or at least uh, our transportation system in that place. So it works both for pedestrians and for bikers and for businesses. Um, they worked on that question for uh, several months. Um, and then recently they came back to me uh, with a set of plans. Uh What's interesting about this part is how he says he saw the plan to do that. And what he's talking about here is the second plan, the plan they had to come up with because we exposed their initial plan, right? So what they wanted to do in private before the public had any opportunity to weigh in was something that was so miscalculated and so wrong that they had to walk it back and apologize for it. And now in this public space, the commissioner is now acting like 
first of all, he's just not even mentioning that initial plan and acting like this new plan, which they're coming out with, which I think is fine. They're going to add some bus platforms. It's all been reported on Bike Portland. That's all fine and good. It's fine if business owners have problems and they want to make it better, whatever, that's fine. But what he's doing here is gaslighting the community because he is not mentioning that the reason this is a concern for people is because the initial plan was so terrible. It was so egregiously bad that even his own staff in Peabot strongly, strongly recommended against it. But his Peabot director went forward with it anyway, or at least she tried. Here's what else he said. I can actually do that. I think that we can both make the bike lanes safer, and at the same time, I think we can make that space work, work better for local businesses, especially hotels. And the key thing here, if you don't know this area that well, this is the part of downtown Portland, Broadway, where we have uh, cars that are kind of parked a little bit about six or ten feet off the curb, and then you have a bike lane which is behind the, the um, which is behind uh, the cars. Uh, now, if you are a business, especially a hotel, there, there's a real challenge with actually getting uh, your customers in and out of there. One of the things that you'll be see, seeing me do um, in the course of the coming months is to actually essentially build a sidewalk on the other side of these cars where when you unload to get into the hotel it works quite well without interfering with the bike lane. I think that comes up with a better, that's going to frankly work out better for bicyclists, it's going to work out better for hotels, I think it's going to work out better for pedestrians. Um, I know it's very challenging um, and uh, triggering when uh, the Commissioner of Transportation goes in and tries to uh, fine-tune their transportation projects. It's actually, it's actually not triggering at all for a Commissioner of Transportation to fine-tune a project and make it better. This is another example where he is, you know, just not being honest with how he's framing this. The reason that there was so much concern over this project and his plans to change it was not because he was fine-tuning it, it's because they wanted to make serious changes to 16 blocks of one of the most high-profile fro high protected bike lanes in the city. And those changes would have made it less safe to bike on, and that design had a proven terrible track record of crashes and injuries to bike riders. That's what's triggering. It's not triggering that he wants to fine-tune it and do the plan that he's now talking about at this public forum as if it was the only plan he ever considered. By the way, it's kind of interesting that he's saying he saw this plan, but he still vociferously denies ever seeing the initial plan. But this is part of my responsibility as the guy in charge of our transportation system. Let me be clear what our goal here. The mission of Peabot is to help people get to where they want to go, uh, how they want to get there. So that means walking, biking, public transportation, private automobile, you know, large goals that are trying to get people out of single-use vehicles and onto their bikes and onto public transportation. But at the same time, the goal is to have multiple, op multiple options there. So this framing here is really important that you notice. He and, to some extent, Peabot Director Williams are both talking more and more about this need for balance, right? That we have to, like, take care of all road users the same and that, you know, that really is a way of saying that the bike stuff and the bus stuff is just is just a road too far and we need to kind of like swing back to the center and have more balance with we make these decisions that's what they're really talking about here that we have to make sure that a project works for drivers and you know balance all modes and it actually goes directly against the plans that we've adopted as a city the plans we've adopted as a city do not want to weigh drivers the same way as non-drivers. Specifically, the plans prioritize bicycling, walking, and transit users above users of private automobiles. So when, it, when an elected official like MAPS and PBOT director talk about the need for balance, we should be very concerned because what they're talking about does not align with the actual goals and values and plans we've adopted as a city. There's actual policy language that says specifically to make bicycling more attractive for certain types of short trips in the central city than driving. And uh, that's how I approach transportation, frankly, that's also how I approach uh, water, that's how I approach sewer issues, and frankly, that's how I approach issues that fall outside my portfolio, too. Thank you. If this is how Commissioner Maps handles situations and issues in all of his bureaus, I think that Portlanders should be very concerned about his run for mayor. I'll just leave it at that.